I love, I love, <laughs> I love uh, furry animals with giant heads. Um, the interesting thing about the tiger was that he was a latecomer to the film. Uh, the idea behind the Croods was that the, the, the villain of the movie would be the changing world. And that was a really tough thing to get across. Um, and it was during the making of the film, you know, they're being chased by this phenomenon, this collapsing continent that they're on. And uh, we started to think, you know, we need to give this, this phenomenon a face because it's just, it's, it's just too, it's too off screen. You know? so, uh, so we came up with the idea of this creature that wants to eat Grug. Uh, it follows Grug like the the tiger follows Grug, just like the uh, the crocodile uh, follows Captain Hook in Peter Pan. <laughs> he really wants to eat him. <laughs> and no matter how far Grug goes, he can be underwater. He can be you know, this thing will follow him everywhere. Um, and and the interesting thing, the cool thing about it is that um, he shows up again at the very very end of the film. And that was not something that we thought up when we were writing the script. That actually came from one of our story artists who just threw that out there one day. And, and the, when he said this, you thought, uh, yeah, of course, of course. Why didn't we think of that? So I have to give, um, yeah, I have to give uh, our story artist credit for that. So, yeah. <laughs>